The West Highland White Terrier, also known as the Westie, is a small but mighty breed of dog with a rich history and a whole host of interesting characteristics. From their distinctive white coats and playful personalities to their origin as hunters in Scotland, there's a lot to learn about these adorable pups. So let's take a good look at what these spunky little dogs have to offer. In this video today, we'll be exploring the top 10 most interesting facts about the West Highland White Terrier. Whether you're a long-time fan of the breed or you're just discovering them for the first time, we're confident you will find something new and exciting to learn about these charming dogs. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Westie owners who let us use their content in the video. The video would not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History the West Highland White Terrier shares a history with that of the Dandy Dinman Terrier, the Skye Terrier, the Scottish Terrier, and the Cairn Terrier. In fact, they're all considered branches of the same breed. It is believed that the Westies originated in Argyllshire, Scotland. Before the breed's origin, the nobles, landed gentry, and poor farmers of the long-ago British Isles all faced the same problem – infestations of rodents that pillaged grain stores and carried disease. The solution was the development of a vast array of terriers called Earth Dogs, adept at finding and dispatching rats. As with all terrier breeds, the West Highland was bred as a vermin hunter. Everything from rats to foxes was fair game and that is still true today. The breed we know today as the West Highland White Terrier comes into historical focus in the 1700s when the Malcolm clan began breeding the little white exterminators on their state called Poltalak. In their long history as hunting and companion dogs, the breed has been known by many names, including the Poltalock Terrier, after the state they originated in, and Roseneath Terrier, named for another Scottish state where early breeding was done. By 1896, when the breed was first shown at Scottish dog shows, they were known as the West Highland White Terrier, referring to the northwest part of the Scotland where Westies earned their fame. And in the year 1906, the breed gained recognition from the Kennel Club of England as the West Highland White Terrier. The breed made its way into America in the early 1900s, where they remained a popular choice for families and individuals alike. They were recognized as a breed by the AKC in the year 1908. Number 2. Their Appearance Westies are small, energetic dogs with a distinctive appearance. They have a sturdy and muscular build with a medium-length, dense white coat that covers their entire body. In terms of size, Westies are considered a small breed. Males typically stand around 11 inches tall and weigh between 15 and 22 pounds. Females are slightly smaller, standing roughly 10 inches tall and weighing between 13 and 16 pounds. Make no mistake, they may be small and stocky, but they are quite agile and strong. Their head is round and proportionate to their body, with small dark eyes and V-shaped erect ears. They have a strong jaw and a black nose. The carrot-shaped tail is sturdy and moderate in length. The most noticeable feature about their appearance, however, would be their dense, harsh white coats. These are fairly short coats, but tough enough to push through brambles and harsh enough to shed dirt easily. The white color helped the hunters spot and distinguish these dogs from the prey they were hunting. It should be noted though, despite the white coat color, these dogs are not albinos. They should have dark pigment around the eyes, mouth, and nose. Number 3. Their Temperament The West Highland White Terrier is an intelligent and playful breed that loves having fun. Their happy disposition and love of life make these dogs a favorite for many, in spite of their occasional mischievousness. And their loyal and affectionate demeanor makes them a great companion for families and individuals alike. These dogs love being the center of their family, and they're also likely to get along with everyone, even with a stranger. Some Westies might be a little wary of strangers, and they'll surely let you know about that by barking. Westies are also known to be good with children, however, they're more suited to homes with older children who know how to treat a pooch with care and respect. And remember, a Westie should never be trusted with smaller animals, at least not without proper supervision. These terriers have a strong prey drive, so they are very likely to chase small animals such as hamsters, rabbits, birds, and even smaller cats. Number 4. They can be very vocal West Highland White Terriers are known to be very vocal, but they are not exactly yappy. These energetic and playful dogs enjoy expressing themselves through their vocalizations. Westies will bark to alert you of passing strangers and vehicles and they'll let you know of any squirrels on your yard. In other words, they can be quite noisy at times. So unless you train them to bark at only things that you deem necessary for them to bark at, they might not be the best candidate for apartment dwellers. But what you need to know is that these dogs won't bark unnecessarily. Oftentimes, your Westie might be trying to communicate with you through barking. They might in fact be trying to invite you to play with them or warn you of any danger. It is important to teach Westies to bark only when necessary and to quiet down on command. 
This can be achieved through training and positive reinforcement. Number 5. Their trainability. Training a West Highland White Terrier can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience for both you and your dog. Westies are intelligent and easy to train, and they have a strong desire to please their owners. They're also known to be quick learners and can pick up new commands and tricks with ease. When training a Westie, it is important to be consistent, patient, and positive. Use positive reinforcement techniques such as rewards and praise to encourage good behavior. In addition to basic obedience training, it is also important to socialize your Westie. With early socialization, your Westie should be able to get along well with other humans and animals, and they will be able to face new situations more readily. Number 6. Their Exercise Needs With their origin as hunting dogs, it's no surprise that the West Highland White Terrier is a high-energy breed. Westies have a lot of energy and require regular exercise to stay healthy and happy. In fact, it is recommended that they receive at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise per day. This may include activities such as walks, runs, and playtime, as well as more structured activities such as obedience classes, agility, and tracking. Some Westies also enjoy swimming, but make sure you supervise them at all times while doing so. In addition to providing your Westie with regular exercise, it is also important to provide them with plenty of mental stimulation. This may include interactive toys and puzzles, as well as activities that challenge their mind and body. Providing your Westie with plenty of mental and physical stimulation will help to keep them happy and satisfied and prevent boredom, which can lead to problematic behaviors such as digging up the yard, chewing the furniture, and excessive barking. Number 7. They have a strong prey drive. West Highland White Terriers are dogs with a strong prey drive, and they enjoy chasing small animals. This instinct is a result of their history as hunting dogs, and it is an important part of the breed's character. While their prey drive can make them a great choice for hunting dogs, it can also be quite problematic at times. No amount of training will ever make your Westie stop chasing after squirrels and any other small animals they deem as prey, and they'll do so without any heed for their surroundings. So it's important to keep them on a leash or in a fenced area to prevent them from chasing after small animals or getting into dangerous situations when outside. To further manage their strong prey drive, it is important to teach your Westie a strong recall and to consistently reinforce obedience training. This can help you regain control of the dog if they become distracted by a potential prey animal and start chasing after it. Number 8. Their grooming needs West Highland White Terriers have a hard, wiry outer coat and a soft, downy undercoat. Their coat is designed to protect them from the elements and to help them withstand rough terrain and tough conditions. In terms of grooming, Westies should be brushed at least twice a week to remove tangles and mats and to keep their coat looking healthy and shiny. These dogs don't shed much, so caring for their coat is quite easy. Trimming is usually needed on the feet and around the ears and eyes. Bathing is only necessary if they get too dirty or smelly. The rest is just basic care. Number 9. Their Health Westies are a generally healthy breed with an average lifespan of 13 to 15 years. But like any other breed, these dogs are also prone to a few health conditions. A few serious but rare health ailments you should be wary of in Westies include cranium and dipolar osteopathy and pulmonary fibrosis. Cranium and dipolar osteopathy is a hereditary condition in which the skull becomes irregularly enlarged, and in pulmonary fibrosis, the lungs lose function and are unable to pass oxygen in the bloodstream over time. Some of the other common health issues seen in these dogs include cataracts, allergies, patellar luxation, and hip dysplasia. All of these diseases can be prevented if you get your pup from a reputable breeder who can show you the health clearances for the pup's parents. In addition to getting a clinically certified pup, you should also make sure to provide your Westie with a nutritional diet and adequate mental and physical stimulation. Finally, make sure to visit the vet on a regular basis for health screening to identify and possibly prevent any underlying health issues early on. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition like any other dog, the West Highland White Terrier should do well on a high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared, with your veterinarian supervision and approval. Westies are small-sized dogs with moderate to high-energy needs. As such, they require a balanced diet that provides them with the nutrients they need to maintain their health and well-being. Choosing a nutrient-dense food isn't enough. It is also important to know the portion size you need to feed your Westie. The generally recommended serving size is half a cup to one and a half cups of high-quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. But keep in mind, every dog is an individual. The amount of food your dog eats depends on their age, size, metabolism, and activity levels. So a diet that works for one Westie might not work for another. If you ever feel confused on the type of food and the serving size you must feed your Westie, you can consult with your vet or your breeder on the matter. They'll surely help you come up with a good diet plan for your pup. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the West Highland White Terrier. Thank you so much for watching the video. What's your favorite thing about the Westie? Do you have any other interesting fact about these guys that we missed in the video? Let us know in the comments below.
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun facts about your favorite breed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.